Hello and welcome to A Thing of Beauty. This is the third part of the sketchbook app tutorial series. If this is your first time here, I am Ashwati and this video is a part of my Autodesk sketchbook mobile tutorial series. I highly recommend you watch the previous videos as well. I will put the link for those videos in the description below. Now before we start into the tutorial, there are some major news about the sketchbook drawing application. The app which was formerly known as Autodesk Sketchbook has spun off and is now just Sketchbook. It is an independent company. So what are the changes? First of all, they are gonna make it a paid app. I know, sad. They have however announced that it would not be on a subscription basis. If you have downloaded your app from either Google Play Store or the iOS App Store for iPhone and iPad or directly downloaded from Autodesk Amazon or other sources, you don't have to download it again. You will receive their updates, but not for the Mac App Store and Microsoft Store. But it is still advised to back up your data so nothing is lost. You can check out more about the updates in their blog post. I will put the link in the description. Now let's jump right into our tutorial. We will see the layers and layer editor tools today. This is the layers editor panel. When you start a new sketch, you can see two layers. One is the default background layer and the second one will be your current active layer. When you draw something, it will be on your current active layer. This layer. The eye symbol that you see here is to hide that particular layer. If you hide the default background layer, it creates an alpha channel or in simple words, it makes the background transparent. We can change the background colors by selecting different colors. What you see here is the color wheel. We will go more into colors in another video. The gray color lock that you see here is to lock the transparency. You can click once more to unlock it. Lock transparency creates a mask that locks out the transparent portion of the layer. In simple words, you can only draw on top of what you have already drawn in that layer. This tool is useful if you want to paint something without crossing the boundary, like shading. You can add new layers by clicking the plus sign. When you click a layer, it opens the Layer Editor tool. If you want to copy a layer, select the layer and click Copy. Then select the layer you want to copy to and then select Paste. Then you can resize and modify however you want. And once you are satisfied, you can click Done. The same is to cut and paste as well. This will duplicate a layer. This will erase all the contents in the selected layer. This is to merge the current active layer to the layer below and make it a single layer. This will merge the selected layer with all the layers below to form a single layer. This will delete the selected layer. This will lock the layer which means you will not be able to modify the layer. HSL adjustment is a hue, saturation and lightness adjustment. You can change the color without actually painting. Color balance is to make fine adjustment to the colors. The opacity slider helps to control the opacity of the layer. let's see the blend modes. Sketchbook has a lot of blend mode options. Basically, different blend mode determines how the colors of that layer blends with the colors of the other layers. There are actually a lot of modes and each one behaves in a unique way. I suggest you play with each and see how it interacts with the other layers. I could make another video just for the layer blend modes. Do let me know in the comments if you would like to see a video explaining how each blend mode works. And finally, color label. Let's you label the layers with a color. If 
you can see the label here and that brings us to the end of this video i hope you guys had fun playing with the layers it is one of the most powerful tools in the drawing applications and a favorite of mine as well and see now that you know the tricks it's not that intimidating anymore do let me know in the comments which feature you like the best also feel free to drop in any tips i'm sure we all can learn something new every day if you like these wallpapers, there are many such wallpapers in my website. Do check out www.athingofbeauty.com. The link is in the description. If you haven't watched the previous videos, do check them out. So, until next time, see ya.